Hey, hey, everybody. Proxy Table Gaming, PTG, Warhammer, the Old World, Lucky Sixes, and Hyper G. Buongiorno. You okay? Hey, hey, I'm full of heinous. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Good. And hay fever. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or was that the hay you meant? Yeah. <laughs> I know if you if you if you want to give some love to Lucky Sixes in his hay fever, yeah. give him a virtual hug in the comments because he's and, had uh, it for yeah. about three weeks now. He hasn't breathed through his nose for about a month for a long time. Um, I didn't know it existed actually, <laughs> but uh, but here we are. We crack on. Yes. And we are still giving you content, and today mm. we are here with another battle report. Indeed, it's the continuation of the old world. Uh, we are in. The Origins of War campaign, this battle yeah. report, which means it's ever so slightly weird in the list building stage, but that's okay because <laughs> we're all yeah. from different fun, lists. Right? Yeah, we're yeah. looking at dis different lists, different scenarios, uh, all from all from, still from the main um, mm -hmm. Warhammer big big blue book. Uh, and yeah, big blue book journals, yeah, yeah. Um, respectively. Mm. Uh, and today we are Beastmen against Bretonia. Yes, the Beastmen were ambushed, weren't they? They, they raided were. a nearby Bretonian town and uh, the Bret Bretonians have chased after them, come at them Very from all so. sides. Very yeah. much so. And uh, yeah, as we said, this is in the Origins of War campaign and um, these are the lists starting with Beastmen, uh, effectively the active player, I guess. Yes, yes. This. It is the Beastmen turn in campaign-wise. Yeah. Um, so, um, Runthrog Throg is uh, the Beast Lord uh, on a Razor Gore chariot. This is kind of like a, a, a chariot list. Well, it kind of it, it absolutely is. Um, on a Razor Gore chariot, Razor Gore's are really, really strong. Um, as are all chariots, to be fair. You know, if you can get their impact, it's working for you. I think chariots are, are really good in a good place yeah. in the old world. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a version of our Mario Kart list that we really yeah. liked a little while ago. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a few tweaks from that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Beast Lord's very tough. He's got a lot of wounds um, and a nice weapon output. Um, I can't remember what those do. You might be able to remember a bit more about the the weapons that the uh, the Beast Lord's got. Uh, Slug um, skin is a um, uh, ability, and it's minus one to hit. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. I know I that know. the club is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Hill Gore, uh, obviously my Beastman pronunciation is top notch. I won't hear mm. anyone say otherwise. It is. Uh, is a great Bray Shaman. He's rocking the old Hag Tree fetish, which is obviously a really powerful item. Yeah. In, in the world of multiple magic missiles. Um, he's also on a Raise Gore Chariot, level four elementalism using um, himself. Uh, as an Arg, again, the H thing. Working well for the beastman mm. uh, is a war gore. He has actually got ambushed, so he's not going to be starting in the ambushed forces, which uh, is quite cool. Yes, um, uh, it also on a razor gore chariot. I mean, you know, three triple razor gore chariots on those characters, which is really cool. Uh, in core, um, two lots of chaos warhounds, one obligatory gore herd. That doesn't seem a lot in core at all. Do the razor gore herds count as being in core? Or how does that work out? The Tuscal chariots <laughs> are as well. Oh, the Tuscal chariots are all. Oh, wow. Well, that's all in core. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's great. Um, yeah. So from the three, two Chaos War Warhounds, the Gore Herd, the three Race Gore Herds, and the three Tuscal chariots are all in core. That's amazing. I love mm. that. <laughs> um, Race Gore chariots also, uh, three of them separately, you see. And a cockatrice, because why wouldn't you want to try of course. a cockatrice? Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, the Primeval Club, for people that want to know, is AP3, which we really like, because nice. there's not yeah, much yeah. AP around the world, and Poison as well. Mm. Very cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just And just in case that wasn't good enough, the strength of the club is equal to your leadership, which, of course, can wow. go up. Mm. Oh, yes, because of Gaze of the Gods on the beast. Gaze of the Gods. And it starts high anyway, so you know. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. there Very you cool. go. Power of Midnight mm. uh, is minus one to hit in the uh, shooted as well. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, and Dark Heart recovers one lost wound. 
So it's like no, a bit like a, like a poor man's potion. Oh, I think it was a better man's potion because it can, you know what you're getting. Just one wound rather than, you know, rolling for it and being disappointed with one. <laughs> sure. Depending on the cost, I guess. But yeah, all good. Uh, this is our Kingdom of Bretonia. Uh, mm. This is um, the uh, attacking ambushing force. Yes, it is. Um yeah, we, we kind of played out as the, the brothers of Paladins. Uh, yes, Sir Ridley, Ridley and Sir Radley. And, uh, mm -hmm. Ridley and Sir Radley, nice. Very cool. Like that. Um, they're both on Brett War Horses, aren't they? Uh, both questing vowels. I mean, this is kind of a questing list, isn't it, really? Yeah, questing vowel um, Paladins, uh, one with the Seal of Paragon um, and the Impetuous Knight, uh, which I'll look up in a sec, and one with the Morning Star, mm -hmm. Gauntlet, and Virtue of Audacity. Uh, which so they're they're both very killy, well um, as much as a a, a hero version yeah, character Paladin. can be. Um, they've got two level two damsels, uh, just uh, not quite naked. Um, but uh, <laughs> was that Jennifer and uh, El Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, Good old, uh, you know. And Google then the core is very hands. interesting. It's exactly mm. the right amount, and it's five lots of six times errant knights. Yeah, yeah, that's Which amazing. These are like the boys who are learning to be the questing knights, really. Aren't it was, they? yeah, 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 yeah. Because the the idea is that this list, you know, they were passing by, and the beastmen just attacked the village, and they activated and went into They're questing. In... Kill oh, mode. they retaliated. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and some yeah, mounted yeoman as well. Mounted yeoman, yeah. Uh, the banners on the Questing Knights are the Crusaders Tapestry, uh, which is um, is worth a hundred points as uh, every time every uh, standard they get at the end of the game is okay. worth a hundred points uh, as a trophy. Uh, oh. And then the Emirate uh, banner is plus one um, strength, but impetuous. Mm. Yeah, I guess the Crusaders tapestry isn't going to be all that useful against a Mario Kart chariot. List, no, it's not. But, um, With no wow, standards. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a shame. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Sweet. terms of the virtues as well, um, we've got uh, Impetuous Knight, which if uh, da, 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 is um, increases your range, your charge range by three. And oh, plus cool. D three to your charge roll. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's a few Audac things that do that in yeah, various books. Loads of stuff. Yeah, uh, while Audacity is reroll hits uh, against something with a higher weapon skill. And again, hmm. I'm not sure whether that comes up, but we shall see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's like well, because you're a paladin, there's more chance of it coming up than if you were a Bretonian baron or lord. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, uh, we, yeah, we didn't yeah. give too many. And again, these uh, um, we've got both of these lists have the restriction of not having any magic items from the main rulebook. It's probably Indeed. one of the biggest yes. restrictions there. Yeah, yeah. So you know, if you're looking at it and thinking, well, you know, there's obviously an item that Bretonia should be taking in every list. Maybe it's because we're playing this in a fluffy sense. Um, this is Absolutely. very much a quest questing list. Yeah. yeah. yeah we'll, we'll Morning Star though, uh, plus one strength, plus one uh, AP. Well, I guess minus AP is how they say it. Um, yeah. And uh, any enemy suffered uh, one or more unsaved wounds is destroyed and cannot be used. Uh, weapon his wise. magic weapons are destroyed yeah. and cannot be used for the end of the game. <laughs> not it's they not, are destroyed. <laughs> it's not a killing better king, not a killing blow. Uh, the yeah. A gauntlet as well on uh, that second paladin uh, is uh, you've got to uh, take a challenge. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and the seal of Paradon is the last uh, magic item from the book. And that, I think, is an arcane journal one, which is why I can't see it now. Oh, okay. But there you go. Fair enough. Go look yeah, it up. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not doing all the work for you. Yeah, come <laughs> on. Um, we played Ambush at Winter's Teeth Pass, which is in the Orcs and Goblins Arcane Journal. Uh, this yes. is it looks like this for anybody uh, interested. Uh, mm, in, it's a quirky uh, one. Doing. Yeah, it's it's basically yeah, it... there's the go attackers on. go on from both sides, and there is a defense in, in the middle. 
uh, and there are yeah. some tokens as well. Yes, so and it's kind of the, the fluff is designed as orcs and goblins ambushing dwarves. Obviously, like we've done in the past, we've changed the armies around and played as, as close to the the scenario rather than the actual armies involved. But the tokens in the middle that the beastmen are going to be defending or trying to get off the board are um, are like originally they are dwarf wagons, um, mm. goods carts. Um, yeah. This is the beastmen trying to get away with the stuff that they've raided from the nearby town, essentially. Um, so they're, they're trying to get through the forest. And little did they know, there was a questing army of Bretonians on either side of the path. Yeah, uh, ready for revenge. Them. And this mm. is it. Uh, so this is we the... possibly equivalent. should mention one other thing about the beastmen army. Yes. <laughs> What do you reckon? Should we mention it? I mean, I gave a spoiler. We should. Yeah. Either, yeah. Last so not, um, but... they actually have a friend, someone from Chaos. Has, uh, mm. a, a demon of Chaos has mm. uh, given them their, their strength, and it is a Lord of Change. Very ba yeah. basic. So he's not got any upgrades or anything. No, uh, I think he's no. level two. But I think this. so. I think that's the basic. Yeah, I believe that. I believe so. Um, I think but that, yeah. that blue winged figure. In the middle, almost is a bang Lord in the middle, of change. Uh, so yeah, lending them their strength. So that's it's about it's about three hundred points, I think. I don't yeah. think it was yeah. much more. Than and that, that was uh, something that they rolled on the random encounters yes. um, during this as part of the campaign. campaign. Then, so. Yeah. So uh, if you're interested in all of those details, uh, then obviously go to the Origins of War campaign, and we'll do updates as we go uh, for each mm. turn. But obviously, that's just the additional thing for this battle. So yeah, yeah this was deployment. Uh, this was deployment with the the road path, the road. Uh, yeah, and the the and... three um, um, creatures that I think were Jabba Slide models on Warhol. Yes, yeah. and Warhol great for this sort of stuff. By the way, you know, mentioned how awesome Warhol looks. Yeah, I think it was three Jabba Slides were were mentioned were used as the goods carts. Um, Absolutely. Obviously, they didn't have the stats of Jabba Slides so that would have been useful if I'd have spawned an extra demon and. Uh, and three Jabba slides to help out. It should be mentioned, actually, in this one, I'm playing the Beastmen, you're playing Bretonian, aren't you? Yep. I don't think we'd mentioned that up until this point. Um, I think, technically, we... No, we did pick our own list, didn't we? Or we could... This was lists by council, wasn't it? We came up with them it together. Was, yeah, we together, yeah. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. Not That was before we knew what scenario we were playing and whatnot. So Absolutely. It was like, oh, man, chariots are all stuck in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was the vanguard, and, and it's at this point that we'll go through all the things. So the two big knight units, there's one at the top, one at the bottom, are the questing knights. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that there's spells next to them as well. We'll get into them when we cast them, uh, but they're just yep. the spells that are available to them. Uh, and they've got a paladin and lady in them uh, each. Yeah. Um, yeah. The units of six are all questing knights, uh, errantry yep. knights. That's the area, uh -huh. uh, and the units of five for the uh, Bretonians are the Yearman Cav. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty simple from that point of view. Yeah, yeah. And one thing um, that was part of the scenario that was in the favour of the Bretonians, or at least in theory, um, is the fact that um, the Beastmen had to deploy first within yes. that box, and also I believe the Bretonians did the first turn. So. You know, like it's all very well having a couple of vanguards in the Chaos Warhounds, but there's a limit to how much the beast men can actually stop the Bretonians from just charging. Yeah. Um, because they're all in the box and the the beast men go down first. So, you know, the Bretonians get a good deal of picking their yeah, first combat. Literally the only negative of that is yeah. that the Bretonians can't get their prayer of the lady. Indeed. Ever, yes. No ward saves. Yeah. So, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's uh, the advantage early doors to the Bretonians. So. Mm, mm, yeah, um, and for the uh, beast men in the middle, um, the on the left, the winged creature is the cockatrice. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, the the razorgore chariots and the tusker chariots look relatively similar. So tusker are the wall. ones with two mounts. Yes, so they're the three yes. on the right. Yeah. So we've got. Um, yeah, on the left side, looking at it, I think what we've got is um, three Razorgore chariots around the Bray Shaman in the middle. Then you've got a Razorgore herd just above the first cockatrice on the left. 
Um, the Chaos Warhounds have vanguarded down towards one of the Yeoman units. Uh, above the second Jabba Slice in the middle is actually the Beast Lord, I believe. Uh, correct me if you think otherwise at this point. No, it is. Uh, the Chaos Warhounds have gone up to chaff the Mounted Yeoman again. Um, then we've got a Tusker Chariot further on. Uh, below the middle Jabba Slice is the Lord of Change, the Zinch Lord Demon. Uh, then you've got Razor Gore Herd, another Razor Gore Herd above the third Jabba Slice. Then you've got two Tusker Chariots on the right hand side. Um, and actually, I forgot to say that the um, the Gore were also ambushing with the BSB. Yes. So, uh, Beastmen have got some tricks up their sleeves. Um, but yeah, they're very much surrounded on all fronts. And whichever way they pointed their chariots, the Bretonians were coming on afterwards anyway. So, we it were. was tough. And, uh, and right, that was. Uh, we cast Oaken Shield uh, on this mm -hmm. top unit. And otherwise, yep. we charge. And you can see all of the course. charges there. Um, yeah, yeah. Just uh, let's go in, and to the point of literally, I think everything charged apart from this uh, unit of Yeoman on the bottom right mm -hmm. next to the rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it didn't fancy itself against the razor. Charged right? something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, oh. this is what it looked like after all the charges. All of them got in because we were all pretty close, if I'm honest. Very um, close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the only other thing that happened uh, that I didn't quite get a picture of was the Yeoman coming to chaff the the pig up there. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're all in, and um, we're thinking it's going to be a fight. Ten minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. Another Bretonian one movement. Um, yeah. We go and shoot over here and plink off a wound mm -hmm. of a pig. Yeah, that's cool. Good effort. Uh, over here, the yeoman go and do two wounds, and I think they you did well. Give ground. Uh, you give ground. Yeah. Or pull back in order. It's or or fled one or the other, but yeah, it didn't carry on, did it? I don't think. Yeah. Oh, it did carry on. Yeah. Oh, it did carry on. Oh, right, you're sure. You, you sued. Yeah, makes sense. Um, over here, I kill the pig on the left and carry on into the, I think it's a chariot uh, there. Um, oh, 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 no, that's going to be... One of the goods a, carts. One of the goods yeah, carts. Um, the oh, on slides. the middle here, uh, I do three wounds to this Tusker chariot uh, versus two. I think I go through and I kill it and go into the next one, but we'll see uh, in the next picture. Mm. Oh, no, uh, I just turn around uh, as it's got uh, yeah. three wounds done to it and turn to face mm. this way. Yeah. Um, over start. here, I uh, what I do is I win combat. I think two to yep. one. Um, mm -hmm. I then overrun and then I catch the fleeing previous Tusker mm -hmm. chariot, leaving this yep. one to go over there. Um, I, That's I'm right. Pretty so sure the one you've... that had three wounds on it bloomed, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I ran into this one a didn't actually unit. take as many wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, over here, I kill the uh, Razor Gore Chariot and run into the goods cart. And then I also overrun. Uh, so I charge with the errant uh, knights into the uh, cockatrice, kill it, and the pig flees. But it falls yeah. back in good order. That's right, Take, because it hasn't taken more than 50% wounds. On the way, but then obviously yeah. rallying to there. So it's all a bit chaotic. Um, mm. The, the cockatrice yeah, actually didn't do a bad job on your errand. Actually. No, I think it was three. actually three wounds on three, but then I failed the um, almost the static combat res. Um, so at least ship six, it? I believe. Uh, so Something I think you're like down that. by one yeah. and, f and fled. Yeah, it's a bit fled. disappointing having killed yeah. three errands, to be on to be honest. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Um, the Yemen kill the dogs down here and just face like that. Uh, and yeah, yeah, this is how we end up. Um, charging the. Knights at the bottom, the errant knights, uh, kill a pig, then overrun into the rear of your... no, the no, the ones at the bottom killed the Jabba Slight unit, which has now fled. Um, okay, so they oh, one right, of sure. the goods carts so that, that was what catapulted them on, um, yeah, so and because they could flees. catapult into the beast lord, um, who were about to fight the questing knights, yeah, I think, uh, and then and then yeah. they do fight. The Beast Lord, uh, unfortunately for the Beast Lord, it loses, it flees, and it gets uh -huh. run down and killed. Yeah, so the general dead before it moves, which is very nice mm. for the Bretonians. Yeah. Um, this is how it looked at the end, uh, with down. obviously the, the, yeah, the general dying quite early on. Um, also, a, a, char a Rascal Chariot fell back in good order, panic, uh, again mm. taking a wound through the Yemen and ending up like so. Yeah, didn't have any room to actually stop 
between the um, Razor Gorge yeah. area and the Yeoman. What we found actually is, is it, if you're panicking uh, and fall, mm. but fall back in good order, panicking, then actually you get you get you to get reform a, at the end. Yeah, yeah, you get to reform, and, and then you can face you whichever way you want. Any reason why turned. you couldn't charge? <laughs> yeah, no. So. No. Um, yeah. Tell us if it's we're actually wrong. a really good opportunity to set yourself, and then all oh, right, if it's your turn yeah. next, yeah. So yeah, tell us exactly. if we're wrong, but if it kind of it ends up having some like janky uh, consequences, mm. which are really cool. Yeah, because I mean, if you look on the left hand side, sorry, you're just taking the picture away. Um, I, I both the Razor Gore herd, the Razor Gore piggy, on the left, and the Razor Gore chariot, they've both taken the one wound. Both of them fell back in good order, then reformed, knowing that it was their turn next. So yeah. they could face whatever they wanted. And that's that's great for a fact. Yeah, it was a really interesting thing. We've not, we've not had this mm. sort of uh, scenario happen, really, where you fell back in good order no. with things and, and done that. So I that hasn't taken more than 50% casualties, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. You get some uh, spells off, uh, Plague of Rust yes. and uh, Demonic Vigor subsequently. Mm, yeah, I mean, this it. is all before the Zinch Lord of Change has actually, you know, had a chance to move or anything. But yeah. um, it, it feels like a lot has happened before yeah, it's it did. even had a turn. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, Plague of Rust is always a good spell against um, Bretonian Knights. But, um, then it was the Beast Charge, charge Time. To, <laughs> I think yeah. I might have forgotten to do Gaze of the Gods, but technically it was only my Bray Shaman who was on the, on the board at this point. Yeah. Because my BSB yeah. hadn't ambushed on and my Beast Lord was already dead. Um, mm-hmm. But so I don't think it made too much of a difference in that sense. Um, but yeah, so um, the the single piggy decided to go into the errant knights. Um, the razor gore chariot goes into the questing knights to try and help out that jabber slide trade wagon. Um, my bray shaman have, he's got hag tree fetish, which is obviously an awesome magic missile. But I kind of needed to use the razor gore chariot, and I needed to fight back against these very mobile Bretonian knights. So I declared the charge with him instead. Um, the other Razor Gore Chariot just below him charged into the Mounted Yeoman uh, the Demon who is very high movement, possibly even fly I can't remember um, declared like what seems like quite a long charge but it was actually very doable um, yeah. into, into the side of one of the errors as did the Tusker Chariot on the left hand side um, I think the one that's taken two wounds on the right was still fleeing so couldn't charge anything yeah um, so I think that was that was pretty much my charge. Yeah, and obviously but, you declare um, all your charges first, and there were some fleas. Uh, yes, in order. of course. Um, it's an, it it's meant... an interesting mechanic, isn't it? Yeah. You have to it... declare them all, then you flee. Yeah, it meant, it meant for some um, interesting leadership checks, which I think you all passed to redirect and stuff. Well, um, the redirect but... is actually before you flee. Oh, no, no, it is. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was getting myself caught. Yeah, because obviously the general's gone now, so they were all on their own leadership, but they all passed thankfully. Yeah. And uh, yeah, some really interesting stuff happening in Beast mm. Hair Town too. So um, I'm going to go back one before we get into this because blunting lance is essentially what happened here in a lot of places. And in that a lot is of places, so that Bretonians try to avoid where possible. Yeah, so, yeah. The Bray um, Shaman goes into the front of your questing box where one of your paladins is. Um, the what else? So, yeah, they said that because the on the left hand side, the errants fled the single razor gore, which meant the razor gore could redirect into the flank of the questers, while the single razor gore go into their rear, which is blunting from two sides. Yeah, um, on the right hand side, I mean, it was fairly obvious that the lord of change and the tusker chariot were going to blunt the errant unit. Um, but yeah, it, it was like, okay, so we've got blunting in the flank, blunting in the rear, and we've got the Bray Shaman blunting the front. Yes. So but that very... goes on to your next point, really, with the blunting yeah. the lance scenario. So the blunting the lance, from what we looked at, and this is where we're going to need your help, folks, uh, because we hmm. weren't exactly sure. All the figures show from the flank, which is fine. We understand that. But we didn't hmm. really understand... How what it meant in terms of reforming up from the rear or from the front when you get blunted. Yeah, yeah. Because so, in the picture, it's quite obvious that the Bretonian knights are moving to the flank and forming up that little nice little square. Yeah. But when you're at the when you've been blunted from the front because you haven't charged, 
uh, in this case, it is charged by an enemy unit but does not or cannot perform a counter charge, that third point. And they couldn't perform a counter charge because it was chariots that were charging them as opposed yeah. to cavalry. Well, in a lot of cases, not always. Um, yeah, or, or they were coming from different directions. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, so we kind of ended up, I think I've got it here. Uh, yeah, we ended up like this. Uh, with a mm. lot of our blunt bluntings, and um, yeah, it yeah. was a uh, it. It then sort of threw up what was in the fighting rank and things like that quite a lot because obviously when you're in that lance formation, the hot, everyone's in the fighting rank. Then you get yeah, blunted, the outsides, and yeah. there's two. Yeah. So we don't or, really well four and four and well yeah these four cases, in some, you, that's how yeah, many yeah. ranks you have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you basically have the amount of models in the front that is equal to your ranks. And because ranks are different, the lance formation as well, etc. So yeah. Let us know if we went wrong, but some of it seemed a bit counterintuitive in the way it did it. But let us know if it's wrong. Um, mm. But otherwise, we thought this was as right as we could get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're all learning still. I mean, you know, we're, we're especially learning because we're obviously not playing the same armies regularly. So... Yeah. Like we've had about what three, four battles with Bretonia, and this is the first time we've played an ambush where they've got blunted on all sides. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think in your previous Bretonian battle, you you pretty much maximised the use of the lance to not get blunt. Um. So this, because of the scenario and the fact that it was all over the place, you said no. I don't think you could have blunted. prevented yeah, being yeah, yeah. blunted in many occasions, unless you literally blown through on all fronts. Um. Yeah, it's it's interesting. But yeah, it was very interesting to try and rent that. So if anybody's got a um, a layman's terms uh, for mm. like blunting the last description, that'd be very very handy. Um, but this yeah. is how it looked. Uh, this is how this combat went. These two yearmen mm. carrying on the charge for the Bretonians, killing the pig and killing two more dogs and making them flee, which is interesting. Yeah, you can see the the original Chaos Warhound had actually fled the first thing that charged it and is in the background, yeah. playing off the board. Uh, yeah. Over here, though, not so good for the Bretonians. That whole uh, errant tree uh, unit gets mm -hmm. destroyed and um, yeah, demon. it's uh, cleaned up it's a demon, by, man. by the demon. <laughs> yeah. uh, over here, that that huge block of uh, paladin uh, Bretonians uh, gets mm. com yeah, virtually completely wiped out. And there's only three left. Mm. Yeah, the impact hits were just like insane. And Bray yeah. Shaman does Bray Shaman things. And, uh, he did so well. Like yeah, he's not meant, it. I mean, the Bray Staff is actually a really good weapon for a shaman, a wizard caster. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd got an assailment spell because I don't think I don't particularly remember casting it. I think I got I took a lot of magic missiles that I couldn't really do much with because of Hagtree's fetish. Yes. Um, but he was fighting, man. He, that Bray Shaman was up. Impact ticks were good. Just yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. smashing it here. Yeah. So um it goes on to the Bretonian turn, and there's not much to do, but I do cast the Lady's Gift on these guys mm. to give them a bit of help, uh, if it will matter at all. Uh, and yeah. we go, there are some charges to declare, so we, we continue on mm. with the dog. Uh, we get a, um, a Yearman helping out in the side of the, the Shaman. Um, we go against the, uh, at the bottom, we go against the Jabberslice thing. Jabberslice thing. The Which isn't a jab as caravan, the trade something. wagon, yeah, yeah. trade wagon, mm -hmm. uh, and then we go against the Tusker chariot at the top, uh, trying to salvage it as much as we can, continue yeah, the absolutely. the death of the beast herds. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the other movement, and uh, I think the guys on the on the left rally, uh, whereas yeah. uh, the others uh, just sort of look to where they are. Mm -hmm. It's a lot less intimidating for now that a lot of those knights have gone down. The yeah, these guys. HP count, have they? Yeah, exactly. Uh, these guys do uh, unfortunately run off the table uh, after mm -hmm. uh, not rallying. Mm. These guys do rally, but that's not a great spot. <laughs> they shoot, don't they? I don't think they uh, do much. And in the in the Bretonnia's turn, I think get run down as well after yeah. getting charged. Uh, yeah. Over here, uh, I die. Uh, Question: uh, Big unit, yeah, and they get panicked they? off as yep. well. The are gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what it looks with the beast heads just moving. Yeah, I mean, around. how crazy is that flank? I lost with all three of those units, and or they panicked. 
but because of the fallback in good order yeah, it was interesting. those two units, they were able to turn around, charge the massive unit of questing knights, Super flee the errant off, destroy the questing knights, and effectively win that flank, yeah. having been in a state of panic. It's something definitely it to be aware of. Real turnaround. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's just showing the running off, but this is showing the board as it is in beast herds. Only turn two. Look at that. Turn two. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know. Crazy. Uh, we, we definitely and... wouldn't have foreseen the beastmen still having such a presence. Yeah. Um, uh, but well, both of those beast uh, errantry units did the win the combats subsequently and then yes. both overrun into the demon. So. Now's mm. their chance. Where do you want to be? In a demon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is showing the beast, the beast heads uh, counter charging effectively. Yeah. Not and I think I've got Plague of Rust word. on that unit of Aaron now um, yeah. to help out. Uh, which, of course, blunts the Lance, lance as mm. well, even though they charge on that like, overrun charge as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't get, don't get counter charged, please. <laughs> mm. uh, mm. This is showing. That it's, there's the nowhere surrounding. to go. Surrounding. Yeah, there's nowhere yeah, to go for these guys. Like, you got, nah. You've even got your ambushing character on. This is uh, yes. the end of days for this unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, making sure. In the middle, uh, I've, I've, that unit on the right is just suddenly safe in they the forest. Killed the, we killed the dogs, boys! Right, yeah. where's that? Oh, what happened behind us? Absolutely. <laughs> um, otherwise, there's one human up there just to uh, to get rid, um, the team had just absolutely bricks oh, face with with yeah. a bit of help for some impact hits, but yeah, the demon was just nasty. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was the this, Lord of Change. The last picture, the picture Changed of the, the battle. Of so a rights. real, real quick one uh, in terms of things. But the scenario does help. Oh, that. it took it us a... about like nine days to fight. For the combat, <laughs> though, didn't it? So you know, it did. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and set up and. Uh, Graphic. Oh, yeah. There's a really interesting uh, uh, scenario, so I'll mm, keep it, it's, it's it's pondered us a lot on the whole blunting the lance thing in Cobratonia, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, we haven't, you know, really had a chance to follow up on it with the lance in another battle yet, but we're very much intrigued as to how it will translate to a normal battle for Britonia. Like yeah. They really need to think about the turn after the charge. Stopping any they? charges getting yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. And yeah. as far as we could tell, it definitely applied to the front. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's so, no, because again, they got charged by another unit that hadn't been yeah. able to counter charge against. So, so yeah. let us know if that's wrong, because I know all the uh, diagrams are from the flank. But yeah, we do. We need some clarification and some help. And uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting rule. Um, mm. But uh, because of that, uh, it was a 2,415 victory point because of all the standards uh, that they have mm. uh, yeah. in, the, in this knight unit uh, versus 1,184. Uh, the, the knights actually did really well. Got two of the good cards. Uh, and they did. Effectively really won the objective well. with that. Uh, but it was still a absolute crushing victory for the Beast Herds. Uh, and... Yeah, the B says live on. The general lived as well for campaign wise. Uh, so yeah. well done to him. Uh, for the mm. I was just War, looking I mean... at counter charge actually to add to add to the equation. You can actually counter charge a chariot um, if the chariot charges you in the front. So it may be that those questing knights did actually counter charge the um, Bray Shaman. So maybe we did that wrong. Or well, could they have. could have. They could have. Yeah, I think maybe they could have. So perhaps then the other that... ones, there was stuff coming into yeah. flank and rear, which you can't counter charge. But I've yeah. just had a little look at counter charge, and it can be done against so chariots. It, it so might, we might have done that one yeah, wrong yeah. Uh, when the beast shame, Bray Shaman went mental and killed all the questing knights. Yeah. And that might have changed a lot thinking yeah. about it. So yeah, but as I, I suspect we did that wrong now that I've looked at it. And um, it yeah, but, yeah, it might be that. You can just counter charge in the front, and it's a, a relevant blood team. Yeah. So that's yeah, why yeah. they haven't mentioned it. So mm. that might be that mm. might be correct. Yeah, but there's a lot going on in that kind of battle, isn't there? So yeah. yeah. But like you say, um, the beastmen survive being ambushed by Bretonians, um, and that bodes them well in the Origin of War campaign. Uh, yeah. Good turn for them. Yeah, but the, so... the the Zinch demon was one battle only. 
it so was. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> he's good. He's going to observe now. He's mm. helped them. Maybe, maybe that will change their laws and things maybe. and items and stuff. But yeah, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Um, mm. If you want to find out a bit more about that, uh, obviously, like, share, subscribe is the first thing mm. you should do right now. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. also go check out the video that I'll put as a, a little link in a, in a second um, mm -hmm. uh, on the end of the video. Uh, go check that out. Otherwise, Twitter or X, uh, formerly known mm -hmm. as Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and uh, of course, go check out Warhol and do things like this just for a bit of fun like we're doing. Yeah. It's great seeing all the models that um, you know the, the Warhol team have created for, for both uh, armies. Um, yeah, really, really, really cool. Um, you know, we shaped it to match the scenario that we played as well. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, good fun. Yeah, really good. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching and see you later.